Hi everyone. I promised you upon reading the reflections from project one that I'd record a few short grammar and mechanics related videos. And so this one is on apostrophes. I wanted to go over quickly a brief reminder of what apostrophes do. So they are primarily used to show possession. So some kind of ownership of something. They're also primarily used to show contraction. So in things like won't and can't and didn't, we take a letter out, we use an apostrophe to contract that. And then occasionally, but very rarely, they show plurality or more than one. However, if you go around and attend events, go to stores, look at people's signage on their doors, you will often see apostrophes misused. And there's even been talk of completely getting rid of apostrophes. The English language is unique in that we have this possession. A lot of like languages, you don't use apostrophes. You say the, the purse of Amory or the dog of George rather than Amory's purse or dog's or George's dog. So we are uniquely uh, treated with the use of apostrophes and the misuse of them. So here's an example of possession, Shakespeare's plays. He technically owns them. They're from his mind, so he gets ownership of them. We also do it for miles and time or distance. So possession is one of the primary ways that we use them. When you have two nouns or two subjects that both own their own independent thing, in this case, a football team, they both get an apostrophe, even if the thing that follows the possessive is implied and not stated. So in this case, Birmingham's football team, they own their football team, is much better than Central's football team, even though the sentence doesn't repeat the phrase football team. When you are dealing with people or subjects whose name ends in S or even X, you get to decide, MLA I think says both are acceptable, uh, just be consistent with them. So my brother's name is Marcus, and at the end of it, I always just do apostrophe S, just because I would say it that way. I'd say Marcus's kids rather than Marcus kids. So uh, just be consistent either way you choose to do it. And then when you have nouns that end in S, you usually have a case of having to change the spelling of the noun. So from lady L-A-D-Y, to ladies, L-A-D-I-E-S. Um, if you did ladies' shoe, it'd be apostrophe between the D and the, the, the Y and the S. If you did ladies, it would be after the S. So you need to take a look at the root word that needs the apostrophe, and if you need to change the spelling, note where that spelling is changed and where the apostrophe goes. Again, some visual examples of places that are not doing it correctly. Lots of signage that has unnecessary apostrophes. Or this one from McDonald's that I found online several years ago. Um, it should be boys, B-O-Y-S, so plural apostrophe, so plural possessive rather than boy toy because boy toy has a completely different uh, implication to it. When two people own something, so my husband and I both own a house. We both own our cars together. So we would say Amory and Dan's boat versus Amory's and Dan's boat. So we own them jointly. So we only need one apostrophe. But if you have people like all of you are working individually on your own essays or your own projects. So if that's the case, you each get your own apostrophe. So again, it goes back to that idea of plurality, the number of people, and what you own and whether you own it together. Again, lots more examples, and oftentimes they're not consistent. When you have hyphenated nouns like mother-in-law, brother-in-law, uh, it always goes at the end of that rather than mothers-in-law. It's my mother-in-law's house. And then when you deal with um, possessive pronouns, they never, ever, 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 ever need an apostrophe. So his, hers, theirs, ours, whose, yours, never need apostrophes. The second primary use of, of an apostrophe is a contraction. So again, taking out a letter or a number. And we often see um, truncated like references to year, I graduated high school in 1994. So I would say 94 and I put the apostrophe in front because I've taken the 19 off the front of it. Again, not quite. 
And then the one that I probably took me until I was a senior in college to just finally get it clicked somehow is it's versus it is because I always wanted to overthink it. So it's with an apostrophe is always it is or it has. And if you can say that in the sentence and have it make sense, then you put an apostrophe in it. It's just I-T-S is a personal pronoun like his, hers, theirs, ours. And so they never remember ever, ever, ever need apostrophes. So substitute it is or it has. Here's an example of Stella Artois, the fancy beer, making a mistake. Perfection has it is price? No, it shouldn't be it's with an apostrophe. It should just be I-T-S. And then the rare occasion when we use uh, apostrophes in plurals is when we need to make it clear and otherwise without it, it would be confusing to read. So oftentimes MLA will say J's and P's always need an apostrophe just because of the shape of the letters. Otherwise it would be confusing. But again, I would say some students earn all A's while others earn all C's. I would put an apostrophe in both of those just because otherwise it can be read weirdly. Obviously here, if you took the apostrophe out, it reads as as, and that doesn't make a lot of sense. So then I would go ahead and be consistent. Again, you're going to find errors all over the place. They're rampant. And remember, when you're dealing with uh, plurality of years, like a decade, you don't need them because they don't technically possess anything. So here's an example. This year's winter promises to be worse than last year's. This is similar to the Birmingham and Central's football teams. So we'd put one here and we put one here. We have a contraction here. We're attempting to, just to determine how our students need best be met. And we're probably talking about multiple students, not just one. So we'd put the apostrophe after the S to show plural possessive. We would do one here between the seven and the one so that again, we are making it clear what we're referencing. Cindy's, she owns the computer program, was more efficient than her peers program. So again, peers, plural, apostrophe for po uh, possession. And then every city has it is or it has own charms. Doesn't make sense, so we don't need one there. So, Final reminder, don't let the puppies die. Don't let the puppies die. Every time you make an apostrophe to make a word plural, a puppy dies. Very sad. Thanks, everybody.